the Ferrafrillo, Lillo, Ferrafrillo, Fra, I don't know, I'm not pronouncing these, I don't, who comes up with these names? <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Anyway, I call it the uh, Frafarillo. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, the stem is of a uh, smooth but very slightly raspy. Just just a smidgen of raspiness. Um, there is no purpling in the stems at all. Very slight purpling at the nodes, guys. Just a bit. Uh, the fruit are quite interesting looking. Uh, almost looks like a uh, at a young, you know, a young peppercini. Almost, I'm not saying it is, but really defined. A lot of ridges on these fruits. Uh, the flower, as you can see, I didn't pull off one that's going to fall off anyway. There's a flower, nice and white, no pattern on it. Uh, slightly green, I think, on the tips. I don't know if you could catch that on camera, but. Is that the... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Wrong flower. Wrong flower. Ah, uh, there it is. There's your flower. Look at this flower. This one's peeled all the way back. Like a banana. Alright, that's your flower. Nice and white. Bright white. Disregard the other first flower I showed you. That wasn't the flower to this plant. That was my farmer's market, I believe. Uh, what else going on? Uh, smooth uh, raspy stem we did that the leaf is of a uh, I'm almost gonna call this one narrow leaf because most of the leaves look to appear to be narrow you can see they don't have that lobe see I, I look at the leaves over here and I look for these back lobes to be out um, like you can see uh, there's not many leaves on here. here's a big one see it doesn't have those lobes coming out uh, we'll call it we'll call it a broadleaf, you know, or a combination broadleaf, narrow leaf. It's kind of like in between it. It's not quite narrow. Narrow is like very pointy almost, you know. But this one's got a little combination of both there. So, uh, showed you flower to fruit. This plant is roughly about 30 plus inches, maybe 33 inches from the bottom to the top. There is a couple little guys growing in there from seeds I had to restart because I didn't think the plant was going to make it. So I restarted them. We're leaving them in there now. I might bring some of the little ones in for winter. <coughs> Keep them in small pots, winter them over, and I'll bring them out next year. The big pots require big attention, big water, big maintenance. Little plants, you can winter them over just fine in little pots. Just keep them moist, keep them wet, keep them in, in uh, the south side facing window, and they'll live throughout the winter. And then you bring them out in the spring, harden them off, and then you will have peppers that year. All right, so uh, that's it, guys. All right, that's the Fafarillo.